Greetings and salutations, I'm Jay Bird, and welcome to Classroom Film Strip Classics. The 1970s Sid Davis production, The Trouble with Strangers. This educational film strip begins with an eight-year-old girl named Karen walking home from school. She goes into the candy shop looking at the candies. A creepy old man offers to buy Karen some candies and takes her by the hand. The owner of the shop finds the old pervert suspicious and watches them leave. Feeling that the old pervert is up to no good, she writes down the dude's license plate and calls the police. The police immediately put out an APB on the pervert's car. A nearby patrolman spots the car as they continue to tail the suspect. Karen suddenly realizes that the old pervert has bad intentions when he continues to drive past the address that she gave him. Meanwhile, Karen's mom waits at home nervous and afraid that her daughter never came home from school and wonders why. Another squad car tracks down the car while a scared Karen has to deal with his weirdo who keeps driving around in circles. The cops finally pull over the pervert and take his creepy ass to jail. Karen is saved from a terrible fate, thanks to the West Covina Police Department. While at the police station, the desk officer calls Karen's mother to tell her that they found their daughter riding around in the local pervert's car. A policewoman takes Karen's hand as they go into her office to talk about the evils of strangers with candy. Poor Karen has to listen to several tales about children just like her who wandered off with perverts. The first tale is about children who like to play in construction sites. It is dangerous not because of the rusty nails or falling into a construction hole, but perverts who like to hide in the shadows. See, you can get molested on construction sites, or worse, heckled by bored construction workers. The policewoman tells Karen tale number two about helping creeps out on the streets. This little girl is minding her own business when this mouth breather comes up to her asking for directions. She's more than happy to help out, but the guy asks her to come with him and show him personally. But she outboxes the creep and refuses to listen to him anymore and walks the other way. The policewoman is not convinced that Karen is scared enough, so she tells her tale number three. A little girl is playing in the park when a creepy dude with the newspaper is watching her in the shadows. He ditches the newspaper and slowly approaches the little girl. The creep offers the little girl some old stale popcorn and walks away with her. The creep attracts the attention of some kids who are playing at the jungle gym and they can obviously tell this guy's a pervert. The kids tell their parents, and they run off to chase the creep away. By now, poor Karen's bored out of her mind, as the policewoman tells her tale number four. We see an eight-year-old boy hitching a ride in front of a Vaughn supermarket when a strange older kid stops him. The strange kid, who may or may not be Jeffrey Dahmer, warns him about getting into strangers' cars. The dumb boy smiles as he almost winded up on a milk carton. The boy wanders off towards home, but like a dummy, he goes through an alley. Some creepy dude motions the boy to come inside his domicile, and like a fool he does, and he's never seen again. The policewoman notices that Karen is either scared now or just plain bored, so she tells her tale number six. A real sleazy scumbag wanders into a children's matinee, looking for victims. He thinks he finds the perfect one, but she's too smart and slinks off to get the usher, who will most likely take him into the manager's office, where he'll get his ass kicked by the employees, and he knows it. Karen realizes that the policewoman is out of stories, and she is so happy that she can finally shut her yap. Karen's mom has finally arrived to take the naughty girl home, and hopefully she has learned her lesson about taking candy and rides from perfect strangers. 
Ah, just another day for the fine folks at West Covina Police Department and a happy ending in this Sid Davis production. The end. This film was produced by Sid Davis, who was a former stand-in for John Wayne in several of his films from 1940 to 1951 before becoming a producer of children's educational films. The Trouble with Strangers was a remake of his 1950 short film, The Dangerous Stranger. Sid Davis would remake this film every 10 years to update the content and would work with local law enforcement to help produce films for elementary schools warning them about the dangers of sexual predators. He is credited with over 40 films and made many more uncredited with dealing with such topics as drinking and driving, drugs, depression, smoking, and young hooliganism. I would like to thank you for watching this episode of Classroom Film Strip Classics. Take care now. Goodbye.